Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to December 20th, New York State Bridge Authority meeting. But before we start our original meeting, uh, we have committee reports. Uh, first, we'll start with the audit committee, which uh, Francis Vasilio was not here. So, Vane uh, Lashua, you have the copy of your minutes, and Roger, you can finally move forward with that. Roger, you want to be chairperson today? In terms of chairperson of that committee? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, double your pay. I All trust right. you. As long as I can be assistant so off chair. So I can't refuse. <laughs> uh, is, there a motion, is there a motion to adopt the minutes of the November 15 meeting? I move we adopt the minutes of the November 15 meeting. And I guess I'll second it. Any discussion, Bane? <laughs> Seeing none, all in favor? Pretty good to me. I think. Approved. Uh, let's see, we've got an independent account services audit of the year. We have to approve that and move it to the board. I move we approve. Pardon me? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Bane, motion made? I move we approve the I'll uh, second it. Any discussion? Okay. Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Then we have a review of the annual report on committee activities. Uh, motion there, Van? I move we approve the um, the report on committee meetings. I'll second it. Committee Any activities. discussions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Is there any other business to come before the audit committee today? Seeing none, motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second. Meeting adjourned, Mr. Chairman. You did a great job, all of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Triple. Uh, next is the Finance Committee. Uh, Chairman Rod Dressel. Okay. Um, all right. Well, open the meeting. Of the, this is the, uh, the final meeting for 2012 with the Finance, of the finance Meeting. Finance Committee, rather. Um, first, we have to approve the minutes. So moved. A second. A second. Okay. Okay, we're all in favor. All right. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Also, uh, uh, on the year-end uh, meeting, we are uh, required to, uh, by the charter, to uh, perform and be sure that we uh, submit a, uh, a statement showing that we met all our requirements as the Finance Committee, of which yeah, I believe it's in your folder. I believe, uh, if you look at it, there was about five uh, different items, and we accomplished all those. So I think I'm ready for a motion. So moved. We can uh, submit it to the board later. Second. So, thank you. All in favor, aye. Opposed? And that looks like it. Motion to adjourn. Any other business or else to adjourn? Second. Second. All in favor? Thank you. Sorry to cut you out, Frank. That's okay. <laughs> I like it that way. Rod, you're running neck and neck with Roger. Running over me. <laughs> <laughs> Next, uh, we have the uh, Finance Committee Government. Governance Committee Report. Uh, a motion to uh, adopt the minutes of November 15th so meeting. Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. Aye. A review of the government's committee charter and authorities' mission statement and performance measurements. So moved. Second. Discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. Aye. Three, and a report of the government's committee. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. And number four, authorize a confidential evaluation of board performance survey of commissioners for 2012. So moved. So moved. Second. Move second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any other business before us? I have the surveys, and um, with the governance committee's authorization, gentlemen, if you could just please uh, return these in the envelopes provided at your uh, convenience. Thank you. Any other business? If not, a motion to adjourn. Second. Roger. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Now we'll start 
our regular meeting of December 20th with the DFK Bridge Authority. Uh, before we do that, uh, I will have everybody introduce themselves instead of me introducing them. So on my left hand side, introduce Hello. yourself. I got Brad Dressel. For a number of years now. Vane Lashua, Commissioner. Tara Sullivan, Deputy Executive Director. Roger Higgins, Commissioner. Joe Romaglia, Commissioner. Carl Whitbeck, General Counsel. Joe Ruggiero, Executive Director and Secretary. Secretary? Good board. Okay. I don't need that title. <laughs> uh, Richard Durantine, uh, Vice Chairman, acting as Chairman today. With that, uh, have a motion to adopt the regular minutes of Somewhere. November 15th. Second. Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Next, administration. See no reports. No. Ready? Ready. Uh, engineering, Mr. Mon Monroe. Thank Monroe. you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Yes, I hold that back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, first up, um, we opened bids on a, a new uh, precast concrete pole location room for, as a utility uh, upgrade down at the Newburgh Beacon Bridge. So we advertised this, of course, in the contract reporter. We only received three bids, with the low bid being brick tavern concrete from us in New York. At a cost of fifty-one thousand eight seventy, so that's a uh, installed precast concrete building as a basement and a first floor, um, and that'll be where all the electric and fiber terminate as they come across uh, both of the two spans. So we'd like to ask for your uh, award of this contract. To move. move to accept the bid. Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Next item, Joe. Um, next item, Stilsing Electric. Um, if you recall, last month you awarded the installation of a dark fiber, um, a new run of dark fiber across the Newburgh Beacon Bridge, which, of course, will terminate in the new location room you just approved. Um, but while we were working up that cost proposal, it was decided to go ahead and clean and, and test the existing conduits to make sure that we wouldn't run into any surprises during the installation. Um, and the cost for that cleaning got passed on to Transdyne, but it wasn't part of their scope, so the invoice came in a little bit late. Um, the work was performed by Stilsing. They're a woman-owned business, and they've done all of our fiber optic work in the last three, three or four years on RIP, Kingston, and Newburgh. So um, we had... Um, selected them to do the actual construction work. This was work that was done in advance of the construction work, and it didn't get included in the budget that you approved last month. So we'd like to ask you um, for an independent award of a purchase order in the amount of 22485 to do the cleaning and prep work that was done before the, the bid was prepared last month. So moved. Second. Thanks. Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Third Thanks. item? Third item is our second port security grant. If you recall, the first port security grant installed uh, an extensive system of security cameras throughout the five facilities. Uh, the second port security grant involved sensors for these cameras and, and lighting. Um, it took a while to develop and get authorized uh, to move ahead with this grant. And in the time between when we applied for it and when we went to build it, um, something called a virtual fence had come on the market and uh, had been in, in, installed. A number of nuclear power plants had some history of success. And it looked like a better answer for us than vibration uh, sensors on chain link fences and motion sensors and uh, infrared beams, you know, that would alert us that there was some activity going on that we'd need to check the camera for. So we talked to the Coast Guard. They authorized us to change our scope. We installed all of the virtual fence equipment um, um, on budget. It's all operational. We're quite pleased with uh, the functionality of the system. We have a long way to go to make it not give us as, as many alarms as we're getting right now. It's a very programmable, very adaptable system. Um, 
But what we like to do from here is, is the balance of the grant is about two hundred thousand dollars. So what we'd like to do is install security lighting that'll trigger along with these alarms and some enhanced uh, gates for our existing perimeter fencing, and that'll round out the total grant at, at the original one point two two. So we'll be on budget and. Uh, well, we're, we're staying within the original scope, but we hadn't authorized this work. We wanted to see how the virtual fence system went, so we did that all by itself. So with, uh, we'd like to ask for your approval of an extension of the existing contract for 215000 for the security lighting and fencing portion of the work. Any questions? Move it, someone? So moved. Second. Other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Any uh, jobs in progress? Well, I got one more here with the walkway. Our friends uh, at the walkway um, have been working on enhancing the Washington Street exit entrance to the uh, to the walkway itself. They've cleared a lot of underbrush off of the slope on the east abutment there. They've got some stairs that bring you up from Washington Street. Um, and it's a nice connection, you know, to the municipality there. But since they've cleaned everything up, the slope is quite steep, and the uh, existing concrete and masonry retaining walls, abutment walls, are uh, not in very good shape. So there's a lot of potential for small stones, rocks, and ballast from the old tracks to roll down the slope and uh, hit some of the pedestrians that might be walking on the sidewalk. And um, there's a proposal now to put some benches along the base of that slope. So we'll be encouraging people to hang around. So uh, this proposal is to rebuild those uh, retaining walls at the top of the slope, take off the wooden timbers and, and uh, pour concrete, a more permanent solution to uh, stabilize that slope. So we'd like to have this work done, I guess, by Slutsky under the uh, standby readiness contract at a cost not to exceed $17,237.80. These are prevailing wage numbers in here? Yeah. yeah. Our, our, um, where does our responsibility end and where does state parks begin? As far the, as the, the apartment is ours um, and the dirt is theirs. So this is the actual <coughs> termination of ours and theirs or whatever the, the border. The abutment itself is the just the it's not limit. much money, but it's a it's I'm just curious because Yeah, there's a potential there. For, want, but, 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 you know. Right. But theoretically, this is part of the structure that is under our uh, jurisdiction to maintain. So. I think it's a very appropriate question. I would love to ask if you to have it out before I do, because uh, this is the, the, this things keep chipping away at us here now. I hear you. <laughs> uh, you know, I know what the canal did to the throughway. Right. And I'm very conscious of it. And uh, these things, have, yeah, this is a smaller amount, but. Um, Sometimes these people have got to find out reality, I believe. Uh, uh, somewhere along, we're going to have to take some steps to uh, figure out. This. I think we should figure, push for some other way of financing. Because uh, they got a bucket they're collecting contributions on now. Right. I don't know what's happened to that money. There was an unsolicited idea that came through the other day, too, for making money on the walkway. So. Yeah, but there's, I mean, there's a bucket there. Now, where's yeah. that money going? <laughs> The friends, into that the, the friends manages that, and that's the bathrooms and the, the kiosks on the approaches and the, uh, and the benches, the and benches, the, and right street lights, cutting down the brush, and right, cleaning the slope, and, 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 and the events, and, and the salaries, right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I guess I, I just, just it doesn't come to us, right? Just yeah. out of curiosity, when the elevator is installed, since it is actually attached to the bridge, do we then own the elevator as well? No. 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 These guys made sure of that. Okay. They own the piece of property that it sits on. They own it, everything about so something the that happens the other way. We're not responsible. So they lease right. it from us for how much a year? No, they they own that little piece of dirt they that it sits it. on. They actually, yeah. We carved it out of ours. Stamp from the power company. They own the footprint yeah. of the of the elevator, and the elevator is theirs. And the elevator is just it's attached to our bridge, but it's really a freestanding structure. Yeah. You know. That little uh, liability mm -hmm. whatsoever. Just a little catwalk connection no at the top. Right. No, nope. we have no liability. That's specifically written into <clears throat> the agreement. We have a licensing agreement with them that allows them to attach it. Are there any other questions regarding this? I think just the message to management here is that um, 
you know, we're scrutinizing all these bills closely and that uh, uh, they should be aware that um, if there's somebody else that's got money to do some of these things they want done, why uh, we're not going to be here. We're not going to probably pay. I won't vote for uh, smaller items here like this as we go forward. <clears throat> You're loud and clear. I think you're probably the sentiment of the board, too. The majority right. of the board, anyway. So anyway, you can move this, please. So I'll move. Second. Any other discussion? That's now roll call. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank one. you. Yep, our job's in progress. It's pretty quiet. They're they're pretty much done down at Newburgh with the paint project. Um, just demobilizing, taking the scaffold down. Did you, you call for eyes? <laughs> he caught that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I thought it was all over eyes. He said, next time. I let it ride. I let it ride. This time he's not. I, 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 I sent so. my message and told me there's something in a minute to You can't understand. No reason to. Hmm? No, you can't understand. At least I don't think you can. No. No, we need five. He's not, he's not shot. No. No. <laughs> you need five? No, four out of seven. Yeah, right. Need four. Need four. I just want to be clear what the vote was. That's all. I just, it was unanimous, right? Correct. It was five right. votes. Well, I didn't vote. I didn't vote. I thought I heard you. Oh. <laughs> you, you want to cast the vote one way or the other? Not on the spot. Yeah. You... yeah, I'll vote no. Okay. Please no. Thank you. Bill? I don't get to vote, but uh, our final project, <clears throat> jobs in progress. The only thing that's active right now is the steel repairs. Um, that's Newburgh and Mid-Hudson. And the walkway itself is also continuing with their steel repairs. Everybody's on budget. And uh, we'll finish on schedule early next year with both of those. Thank you very much. Uh, before you leave, Bill, uh, the bids went out for the new decking, correct? Correct. Can you just give a brief summary where we are with that? And yeah, we got an extensive uh, request um, for an extension of time. We were, uh, plans went out available the week before Thanksgiving. We were hoping to open bids yesterday. Um, but only gave them about four and a half, five weeks. So we agreed that we don't want people guessing at their bid estimates. Uh, they need more time, the holidays. Uh, the floods from the hurricane did delay our our plans becoming available, so we were running two weeks shorter than we had hoped. So we agreed with the uh, general consensus of the contractors to give them an extra month. So we'll open this uh, January 22nd, and uh, we're open for a board meeting on January 31st. That gives me about nine days to review their credentials, their financials, their WMDE participation plan, and make a recommendation, hopefully, to the board, this board on last day of January, so we'll be very close to our different schedule. Thank you. Any questions for Bill regarding that? We had a great uh, show of attendance on our walkthrough at the pre-bid meeting. We had uh, over 50 people, so uh, we showed them <coughs> the top, the bottom, the yard, <coughs> answered a lot of questions. So I think we have a, a good level of competition, so we're hoping to there's so a lot of better the prices. Yeah. 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 In any case, <clears throat> first up's the investment report. There were five separate investments in the month of November. Uh, yields were uh, consistent. Uh, the next page reflects the uh, investment inventory. Um, the maintenance reserve is up substantially over last year. Uh, cash at City at Bank of America, 3.5 million in the operating fund as of month end, and 570 in the revenue fund. And uh, interest and income and yield were uh, static. Any questions for Brian? Real exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I try to keep it least painful. No more. Exactly. Okay. Any discussion about roll call? All in favor say aye. Aye. Great <coughs> property insurance. Okay. In October 2011, uh, we went out, went out with an RFP. In December 2011, uh, we had one proposal provided: a three-year contract for bridge property and loss of revenue. 
uh, gives us the option gives us the option to go and renew each year. They locked in the rates for three years. Uh, the increase for 2013 is uh, thirty six thousand four hundred ninety three dollars over prior, a four point five percent increase over prior year. Uh, to a total of eight hundred thirty nine thousand two hundred eighty one dollars. Um, note that our insurable values increased to uh, one point seven million from one point six five. Uh, also, our revenue will go up a little bit more due to the fact that the total increase is in place for the full year as opposed to just eleven months. Uh, should the board approve, a resolution is attached. Moved by so moved. Second. Second. Any questions? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, in July, I'm sorry, July 2011, we went out with an RFP for uh, audit of year on financial statements. We got three one year contracts from Toski Schaefer and Company, who are now renamed themselves as Toski and Company. Uh, the audit fee and the engagement letter is attached to this memo. It was previously approved by the audit committee earlier today. Uh, the fee for the audit, consistent with the proposal from 2011, is 16900 with $1,800 for the single audit associated with the federal grant. That's a requirement to receive the federal grant funds. Based on our satisfaction with TOSCI, I recommend we uh, renew, continue the contract and uh, sign the engagement letter for 2013 or 2012. Excuse me. Brian, what happened to Schaefer? Schaefer? Uh, they actually merged with another firm and they just renamed themselves. Oh, really? Schaefer's out. Apparently so. <laughs> Some will move. Second. Any discussion? Roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 That's one, Brian. Any other renewal music pass discounts? Yes. Uh, according to the way the regulation was written, uh, we are required annually to review and approve the Easy Pass discounts associated with the toll schedule that was implemented on January 30th. Uh, based on our review of our financial position that took place with our uh, 2013 operating budget and uh, bridge system net revenues forecast, uh, we find that the Easy Pass discounts, uh, we can absorb those. Uh, within the operating budget and bridge system net revenues uh, to allow the authority to meet its financial obligations. This extension will go and extend the uh, toll discount from January 30th, excuse me, from December 31st, 2012 to December 31st, 2013. So moved. Second. Thank you. All, right, all in favor say aye. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Next. <coughs> No human resources, no information technology, operations. Good Afternoon. Um, First item I have is our invoice from the New York State Thruway Authority for the quarter 2012 Easy Pass expenses. Um, you see that the cost is up a little bit. So are the transactions were up uh, almost a quarter million transactions over the third quarter last year. Uh, feels pretty straightforward, and uh, Mike and I found no anomalies in it. We started out when it was 16 cents, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. About 10 years ago? No? More. More. 98. 98. 98. Yeah. 98. Okay. Is that? Yeah. Any discussion? Anyone move it, please? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? If not, roll call. I want to say aye. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> Next. Next is uh, we pay the state police for a dedicated uh, traffic patrol uh, during our peak periods of traffic here at the Mid-Hudson Bridge, uh, otherwise known as uh, cone times when we operate the uh, reversible center lane. Um, last year we uh, expended, or this year, expect to spend about $90,000. Um, they haven't had an increase now uh, in quite a while, so since 2005. Um, so should they announce an increase, uh, I wanted the budget. 97,000 for this year to cover their uh, their patrols. Um, second page, there's a breakdown of the hours that we uh, spend and the amounts for the past number of years. The hours they work a day. Uh, so. It's the same hours each, uh, each year? Same hours each year? Same hours we assign them each day. There's some Sometimes when they're short, they don't show up, we don't pay them mm -hmm. you know, a couple of days each year. But, do, but it's, it's pretty consistent. Do we feel we still need them? We have cones. Hmm? We still have phones, so. Yeah, when you know, they respond quickly to a little fender bender. If the cars are stopped on the bridge and we have them here, at least they can clear it pretty quick. Whereas if they have to come from Highlander or wherever they are, um, 
you know, to really back up traffic. I mean, they are helpful in doing that. I believe they are, and I think they've cut on the number of accidents too, just being visible. Do they call in three or four fire trucks at the same time? <laughs> We're trying to stop that. Someone <laughs> move it, please. So moved. Second. Discussion. Roll call. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Executive Director's report. We have them here in front of us. We want to talk about comment on our meeting. No expenses this month. <clears throat> and uh, I gave you a little narrative I made on the desk here about the uh, traffic and revenue analysis. Basically, we're uh, approaching the end of the well, January will be one year since the toll increase went through, and we are on target to meet the 40 percent increase in revenue we had looked for, despite. Uh, Traffic still being sluggish in these last couple of months. And right now, for the year overall, compared to last year, we're only up 1% in traffic. So it depends on how uh, December will do. Uh, but uh, it just demonstrates, again, that you know, the traffic base isn't growing. And to expect unanticipated revenue from it, um, it's just not reality. I always appreciate this report. It's kind of interesting to look at. Yeah, it's really what we do all day, you know, like <laughs> count cars. Yeah. So, and I mean, it's, it's if this were to come unhinged, if we don't monitor this month to month and we start seeing a, a slippage in revenue, uh, you know, it, it may require down the road a, an adjustment to the full schedule or even just like what you did, you just reapprove the uh, easy class discount plan. If there was some drop in revenue, that would be in jeopardy. It's a short-term measure, anyway. So, but thank God everything is as we have to do. Any questions? No, any questions for Joe? What's not? Uh, how about the uh, traffic clarification comparison report? Want to comment on it? On just basically what I was saying. It was just we're only up over the whole year. We're up by one percent. Mm -hmm. traffic. And we'll have to see what December does. If we slow it down, the client may not. That may not be true. Um, we, we have yeah. to vote to change the meeting. Later. Oh, yeah, I'll be later. We got a few other things. Yeah, we'll vote over. Right. All right. Uh, we need to vote on the annual report of the audit committee. I was said oh, earlier in the meeting here. Um, we would have a motion to accept the audit committee report. I move the audit committee report. Second? Second. Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right, a motion to approve the annual report of the Finance Committee. So moved. Second. Any discussion regarding this? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 And also, the annual report of Governance Report. So moved by. Move. Second. 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 Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Anybody against? No, Joe? <laughs> no, it's good by me. All right. Uh, we have some new business here. Rescheduling of the January meeting. Um, we have a little sheet here from Mr. Bellucci in order to facilitate the consideration of the New York State Bridge Redecking Project. In January, you recommend the meeting to be held January 31st at 3 p.m. So for Second. Second. Any discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, we are going into attorney client. Uh, before we do that, just a couple comments. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to close the meeting today just in light of uh, what happened in Connecticut and Newtown, that we take a moment of silence just to uh, show our consideration for those people. Thank you. And also, before we close, I would like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. And uh, we are going to the uh, client privilege session. We will be returning. We will be returning for a vote on, on what we're discussing, and we'll close the meeting at that time. So thank you very much.
Good afternoon again. Uh, we're back on the board meeting of December 20th, New York State Bridge Authority. Uh, we had a client, uh, sorry, my attorney client privilege uh, discussion. We came out with that uh, with some a resolution that we're going to move forward. Someone would like to move it, please? So moved. Second? Second. It's a resolution to uh, we employ Terrence Hanelin. Uh We are giving him the accrued 498 hours of sick leave through public service at the Dutchess County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we have decided that we will credit 166 hours of sick leave with the Bridge Authority effective November 12, 2012, and there will be 166 hours of sick time in November 3, uh, 2013 and in November 2014. <coughs> so with that, any other discussion? Uh, we, we had a motion, didn't we? Yes, yeah, we had a motion. <coughs> Any other discussion? If not, roll call. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone? No. If not, thank you. Do it again. Any other? We adjourn. We'll move to adjourn. Second. 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 Happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. All in favor say aye. Aye. Thank you.